What's up guys? I'm Donny. Uh, we're gonna see what uh, fuel mileage is in the 2017 uh, Chevy Silverado 2500 with the L5P engine. Alright, I took a trip, I started this uh, yesterday, um, took an 800 mile trip, so from the time I left the house until I filled up my first time, which was all highway, and the second time I filled up, it's already here in Georgia, um, I did some highway and some, uh, you know, regular roads so we're gonna see the difference okay all right so let's see over here doing only don't mind my mess i've been traveling all right doing only highway when i left my house i had 8848 miles i when i was you know i still had like 70 miles to go but, um, you know, it was time for me to eat and stop and, you know, take a break. So, I, when I stopped and filled up again, I had 11,435 11, miles. Um, that means that I ran 587 miles, okay? I used, or I filled, I put 32 gallons of fuel, okay? So, if we divide these this um it's gonna give us 17.88 miles per gallon the car was doing okay and this um screen here i guess the the mile trip calculator thing here uh was telling me this is what it was telling me it said that i ran this many miles and that this was my average for the trip okay so from 1788 to 18.2, we'd say, you know, it's pretty close. I don't know which one I should believe. Maybe this one, it's more, I don't know. But now, you know, highway miles on stock size tires. These are not stock tires, but they are the same diameter. They are also 33 inch tires. Um, you're going to be doing 18 miles per gallon in the highway. That's driving at around 70 to 80 miles per hour. Okay, no less than that. Um, over here, it's when, after I filled up, um, I, you know, I ran in the in a highway. When I got to Georgia, I figured, I was gonna say, um, when I got to Georgia, I was gonna, like, fill up right away and you know see the miles but I figured it's gonna be almost the same it's gonna be almost the same so let's do a combination and the reason why I feel I didn't finish the tank is because I'm actually leaving today so I wanted to leave the truck filled up and I wanted to get this done and to show you guys it does the fuel mileage lowers obviously when you're in the city all right so we finished sorry about that light we finished at um 11 4 35 which is the same thing we finished here and we filled up at 11 6 92. we ran 257 miles um i put 16.5 gallons and my average miles were 16 all right normally 
what I see when I drive my truck uh, from home to work, um, work to home. That's most, you know, most of the driving that I do. The truck gives me anywhere from 12 to 14 miles per gallon. So that's city driving every day. This got a little bit better when I got that um, Whirly Fab intake with the resonator delete. It just got a little bit better, and when I and when I changed um, the intercooler pipe, because I I think it is a little bit of restrictions there, and I think that um, you know since the flow is better, also my fuel mileage. it's better okay and my truck is sitting on 12 whites uh they are also 33 inch tires um nothing different uh well the only thing that could be different is the width of the tire that's about it okay so sorry guys it's way too windy so let's get back in here that's the only difference from the stock tire so pretty much it's a stock truck um another thing that i wanted to say is when i first got this truck the truck you the, the fuel mileage used to vary a lot it used to go from 8 to 12. i haven't seen the 8 number driving in the city from my house to my job which is like seven miles every day morning and afternoon it was giving me eight nine eight miles per gallon and I was just you know barely touching the, 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 the pedal once I did those two mods in the in the front it got better it stayed at 12 it's almost always at 12 except for the days when it rains when it rains uh, it lowers down a little bit I guess maybe you don't have the same traction and you know or maybe the air is different I don't know what it is but the fuel mileage varies with the weather um, so that's we that's what I have guys. This is a 2500 um Chevy Silverado 2017 um and it's a question I asked myself many times before. That's why I decided to make this this video. Um that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching and subscribe. I got